A pair of dandy Dinmont Terriers named Wally and Buster lives a most dandy life. Their home is all about the dogs. But today, their dogs only world is about to get shaken up with a special delivery. Make that five special deliveries. Three fuzzy tabbies and two colorful calicos. For the dogs, five kittens in the middle of their living room is a lot to take in. But there's actually something missing from this feline crew. The litter was rescued from the streets with no mom in sight and brought here to their new foster home. Without a mom, they need bottle feeding. But bottles are an acquired skill. This calico girl named Louise is trying not to miss a single drop. Only she misses more than one. The littlest of the lot is a tabby named Mimi who always follows her bigger sister's lead. The kittens do their best to look after each other, but every youngster needs someone grown up to show them the ropes. Someone like those guys. They're big enough furry enough, and sure seem to know how things work around here. So Louise says hello, and says hello again. Unfortunately, no one says hello back. But Louise is one dogged kitten. And Buster's finally intrigued enough to get a better look at the new arrival. But the meet and greet is interrupted. Back on the blanket, little Mimi thinks her favorite sister has been gone long enough. So Louise heads back to her siblings. because orphans know they need to take care of each other. The foster kittens are eight weeks old and making themselves more at home in Wally and Buster's home than ever. These days, Louise no longer needs Wally and Buster to show her the ropes. She and her siblings just help themselves to whatever they please. But Wally and Buster can't help but feel a little bit like these kittens are walking all over them. They've taken over Wally and Buster's bed. But the dogs are finally wising up. If the kittens don't pay any mind to what belongs to whom, why should they? And at last, everyone in the house is sharing what's theirs. And after all that fun, the dog's bed is roomy enough for everyone to get some rest. Everyone but the dogs. 
Thompson. It's lunchtime for everyone. At 10 weeks, the foster kittens are becoming independent young cats. And while they no longer need the dogs to show them the way, it's always nice to be able to share your table with friends. Of course, for Wally and Buster, it took a little convincing from the time the litter arrived. Though Louise was eager to say hello, the dogs weren't so pleased with the new arrangement. But while trying to get the dogs to take her under their wing, Louise learned to fly all on her own. And today, the kittens will all be spreading their wings as they meet their new families. Mimi and her siblings are now big and strong enough to head out into the world. and Wally and Buster fondly send them on their merry way. And at last, their home is all about the dogs again. Or is it? This will be Louise's permanent home. And this will be Louise's permanent bed. Luckily, she's more than willing to share.